Hey there, stampers. Good morning. Um, my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada, and I am here to share a quick catalog tour with you guys. Now, I know the catalog has been... Oh, we are very crooked. Let's fix this here. Uh, the catalog has been live for... A week now and I wanted to wait to do a catalog tour until I could get a few more things in my hands to show you guys okay so I'm not gonna go through the entire catalog although I will be going into a significant amount of detail because I have a lot of stuff that I want to point out but we're not gonna do page by page you can see I've got all my flags down the side here to remind me that um, I want to go to that page so I can flip really easily um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I know that when you go through the catalog, there's so much to see and oftentimes uh, things, you just miss things. There is no way that you can actually catch everything. So um, I thought that there's a few things that I wanna point out to you guys that I think are quite important and they are real gems that I think are going to get overlooked if they're not pointed out. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I got this lined up here. All right, so the first page I'm gonna to go to, if you guys wanna follow along, feel free to grab your catalog and grab a piece of paper or page flags and a pen so you can jot down some notes as well in case there's anything that you want to add to your wish list. And if you are in Canada and you don't already have this particular catalog and don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you already deal with, please just shoot me a message and I'd be happy to pop one in the mail for you, okay? So I am going to start with pages eight and nine. So in the past, we have had kits in the catalog and we've had um, project kits, all-inclusive kits, product medleys, those types of things, and paper pumpkin. Now, this, these are the kits that you'll see and there's actually no kits listed apart from the paper pumpkin the subscription options here. And that is because all of our kids, kits will shortly be moving online. So there's a separate flyer here. It's called Creative, Creativity Made Easy. These kits were available, they released 10 of them that were available to Stampin' Up! demonstrators to pre-order right now and will be available online for customers on June 1st, I believe. So there will be 10 kits that are released and the reason they're keeping them online only and not in the publication is so that you will always know what's in stock um, and they are gonna continually refresh them. So you'll continually see new kits added, which is really, really great. Now, some of those kits you may look familiar if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Um, some of the kits are kind of a, a takeoff on past Paper Pumpkin kits, okay? But there's some that are, are fresh and new as well. Okay, so you'll wanna check that out on June 1st. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out. Next up, all right. In here now you'll notice that some of the products from the January to June mini catalog did carry over now the this one if you remember this also has a die set with it now because usually in the first publication that it's offered in it it's available as a bundle and you save 10% so we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute um, but then when it carries over, usually it's not available as a bundle. And I say usually because there are some bundles that are in the January to June mini catalog that are carrying over as bundles and you can continue to save the 10%. However, not all of them. So this particular one, because it's not offered as a bundle, you don't see the dies on this page. So you'll want to make sure that you read the description on all stamp sets, just to make sure that you're not missing out on coordinating dies. Okay, so it says art gallery here, it's got the product number, the price, the details of the stamp set, but then it also says coordinates with floral gallery dies on page 163. Okay, so that's something that I wanna point out. The dies are not always pictured on the same page as the stamp set. Okay, so don't miss out on that. The other thing I wanna point out is when bundle pricing is available, you will see, so down at the bottom of page 12, you see a big 10%. So that is the savings when you bundle the coordinating stamp set and the dies together. So then you'll see here, you can get the stamp set, you can get the dies, and it's got the bundle number and the bundle price and what's included in the bundle. 
Okay, so I wanted to point that out because that's not obvious. We all, I think we often think that um, the stamps and the dies will always be pictured on the same page if they coordinate, but that's not the case. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip to page 42. If you guys remember, in the January to June mini catalog, we had the, we have this fabulous many messages bundle. So it comes with all of these greetings and then some dies that coordinate with it. Now that is still available at bundle pricing, same with the last one that I just mentioned, it is still available at bundle pricing until the end of June because that catalog still goes until the end of June. But look at this, they came out with another stamp set that will coordinate with those same dies. So I wanna point that out because if you've got this bundle, you may want to add this stamp set because that increases the versatility. And there's so many great greetings in this set as well. Okay, so I wanna point that out. The other thing is I did want to point out, you know that you guys, we've had some issues getting some of our product um, and the sweet strawberry or the strawberry punch is one of those. I was happy to see that this bundle carried over, but they also are carrying over the bundle pricing. So unfortunately, the punch is still not available, which means that the bundle can't be ordered right now. However, I believe we have another shipment coming in either the end of this month or the beginning of June. Okay, so that's to come. All right, next up. Okay, page 52. Now some of the things that I'm gonna point out are some of my favorites. I love this greeting set. I love the font. I love that I would use every single greeting in here. There aren't, you know, one or two that I just don't think I would use. I would use every single greeting in here. So it is available as a bundle with some complimentary dies. And I say complimentary because the dies don't actually cut out any of these words. They're just, they're just an added bonus. So there's a set of trees. Um, there's some, uh, here, I can show you. I've got a sample right here. Okay, so here's the stamp set. Inspired thoughts, love, love, love it. And then the dies. So you can cut out trees and then you can cut out the, um, the leaves for the trees. You can create bushes. Um, so that's something that you can do with it as a bundle, but the stamp set itself is amazing. It's also the stamp set that we are using at our team event at the end of the month. Um, and we are opening this up to all of our customers, anybody who wants to attend. I'll post a link in the description above for more information on that. But we are using this greeting set um, and we're featuring, we're doing a whole day featuring all of the fabulous new in colors. So that's an event you don't wanna miss out. It's a ton of inspiration. And it's on May 29th. Again, it's all day. If you can't attend the event or the whole event, it, it will be recorded. You'll be able to access it. It's, on a it's in a Facebook group. Um, but leading up to the event, for six days leading up to the event, we will be doing a bonus Facebook Live. So there's gonna be a ton of content and inspiration. All right, so I will go back and I'll post the link in the description above for more information on that. Okay, next up. Now, we've got some dies in the catalog that actually, um, they're great dies, but they actually don't have a stamp set that they're bundled with. So I will point out more of those when we get back to the die section, but this particular one is one of them. So I think it's called the spin, what is it called? Give it a whirl, give it a whirl dies. I had to point out this card because it's so cute. This, the dies will help you create cards so that you can kind of move it. So see this scalloped edge. Hopefully you guys are looking at the catalog because it's hard to see. Let me bring it a little closer. See how it cuts this scallop circle? So you can move this around so that, okay, so that's in the little window right now. But then if you were to rotate it, the little puppy would be in the window or the rocket ship. So, so cute. I think that is gonna be super fun to play with. So, and there, and that is not paired with this. So you can use that with any stamp set that you have. All right, so I will share a few more of those dies because there are some really great dies that I know I often miss out on those things because they aren't bundled with stamp sets. When I flip through the catalog, I, I, I'm looking at stamp sets and then, oh, if they've got dies together, then I'll look at the dies. But sometimes I don't pay close attention to just the dies. So I'll point all of those out when we get closer to the end. All right, 
Good morning, Shauna and Elaine and Mary Liz. Welcome, Mom, Kim. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm missing out on showing you. I've got a pile of stuff to show you guys here and I forgot to pull it out. We're going to skip back here for just a minute. Oh, see, I forgot this guy. Okay. <laughs> this beauty of the earth suite. I wanted to show you some of the paper. Now you may have seen this paper because I think I did get it as a pre-order and shared, but I'm going to share it again. And then I've got a sample and I've got a sample of the new bark embossing folder. Okay, so this paper is so pretty and I feel like it just does not do this justice. It doesn't do it justice at all. So we've got this pattern and then on the back, look at how pretty that is. We've got some sky and then we've got some more leaves, some more leaves. So this paper is meant to be used all year round. It's got all four seasons in it. This one is a great one so that you can cut out, um, let me see, let me move this over the, out of the way here. So you can cut out like the leaves and then you've got something so you can cut out the trunk and then we've got that one, this one, it's fun, that, I love patterns like that. Here's another one with trees and then isn't this beautiful? Love, love, love. So that's the DSP that coordinates with this. Here's a little card that's made using the DSP, the dies and yeah, and the dies and it's got a little, little bird in there. And can you see the glimmer on there? That, that is um, Winkostella on there. So pretty. So as you can see, you can do Christmas, you can do all, all four seasons. And then look at this, this is the bark embossing folder. Look at the texture that is added to this. It's so lovely. Love it. All right. Okay. Let's see. What else did I miss? Okay. I think we can skip ahead to the peach now. All right. I love this suite. I knew that it was going to be one of the first things that I ordered when it was available. And I've got my DSP here. So let me share. Isn't this pretty? Good morning, Alice and Shirley. And then we've got some little peaches. I love that there's some larger scale patterns and then some smaller scale patterns. We've got some balmy blue polka dots, some peaches with the balmy blue black background. We've got some little blue flowers, some stripes. This one's really pretty as well. That one, I love patterns like that that can be used for really pretty much anything some stripes and some more flowers, some more peaches and this love. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And then also part of this suite are these adorable little jars. So I wanted to share with you the size of these jars. So here is a multi-purpose glue to give you an idea of the scale of them. So they're quite a bit wider and a little bit shorter um, and they are plastic. Okay, so I wanted to point that out as well. So I think those will be fun to play with. Okay, and then, now this is the suite that I will also be working with. For those of you who are Treasure Chest members, I'll be working with this collection of products in June, so you can watch for that. And if you're not a Treasure Chest member, it might be something you're look, you would be interested in looking into. We have lots of, lots of good stuff happening over there. Okay, here is another collection I'm going to share the DSP first and then I've got a couple samples that I can share with you. All right. This is a specialty DSP. So one side of all of the patterns are, um, have, uh, metallic foil in them. So this is all I have left of this one pattern and then the back side, and then we've got this, Look how pretty that is. And then the back side, this one, I've cut up almost an entire sheet of these when I was working on swaps and then that, and then we've got a simple white and black pattern. And here we've got multiple colors of foil. There's silver, gold, and I think it's copper. It's so pretty. And then this one, I love this one as well. It's kind of a classic, I don't know, pattern. And then this one, this one's really nice too. And here we've got 
silver and gold, and then some black, gray, and vanilla leaves. So the, the neutral in this, actually there's a bit of white and there's vanilla in this one. So that is the DSP. And then here are a couple samples. These are some swaps that I've received. So this one here, isn't that pretty? And then this one here. So this is the punch that coordinates with this set. But look how pretty that background image is. This image right here, it's stamped so beautifully. So pretty. All right, moving on here. What have we got next? Okay, I do wanna point out that there is a small section of holiday things, so Christmas things. It is very small, but you guys know that we will be getting our holiday catalog, which will be out this summer. So you can watch for that, and that will be full of lots and lots of Christmas things. So some of these Christmas items you will have, you will recognize from the last holiday mini catalog. So this one was in there. This is a new bundle with a fun coordinating punch. You'll recognize this and this, and this has been carried over for a couple years. So there's a few, there's a few holiday themed things in here. And then this, love, love, love. Wait until you see the paper in this one. Okay. So this is called the Expressions in Ink. This is what I'm hoping to focus on in July over in the treasure chest. And so the treasure chest is my membership group and basically you get, you pay a fee and you get two classes every month. You get a card class and you get a scrapbook class, but it comes in the form of a weekly email. So it's lots, lots and lots of inspiration. And you don't need to own the product that we use, but of course, if you love it, it's a great opportunity to really stretch that, that product use. So this one again is a specialty DSP and it's got some gold foiling in it and it's got this fun background technique. Have you guys seen that um, the Stampin' Blends with the 99% alcohol background that everybody is creating right now? Well, this kind of, this whole collection kind of focuses around that background. Look at that. I seriously could probably use a whole package of this pattern right here, just in a variety of colors. Look at this. Do you guys remember the old, was it called polished stone where we used metallic ink refills? Oh my gosh, I love this paper so, so much. And here they've done that same technique to make it look like flowers. Look at this one. Amazing backgrounds for scrapbook layouts. And then here we go, here's another one of those. Love, love, love. Yeah, you could probably recreate this yourself, but if the paper is printed already for you, you don't have to. And look at that. See, I seriously love every single pattern in this paper pack. And then here we've got some more flowers. And then this one. And then we've got some gold stripes and then peach in the background or papaya, I guess it's not peach. So that is the fun paper pack that coordinates with this. The dies are stunning. You'll wanna check out the dies. They're on page 158 for this. They're so pretty. And then this is also part of this suite. It's the Expressions in Ink and Ephemera pack. So I'm gonna pull it out and share. Okay, so these are just some little like clear sequins or iridescent, I guess. And then there's some gold foil pieces. So there's that. Let's see, there's two sheets, three. Oh, well, maybe that's just repeated. Oh, maybe you get five sheets of the same thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you get five sheets of the same, same patterns. But I love the shapes of these. They're so pretty. All right, so that comes in the ephemera pack. And then the stamp set is really pretty too. Okay, next up. All right, this, you guys have probably seen lots of this bundle around. This was one of the bundles that we could pre-order as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, the color contour bundle. So looking at this, you know, eh, it doesn't look like much to me anyways. Um, but the dies, you need to see the dies seriously. Okay. So these are the dies. 
I bought this bundle just for the dies. I'll, I'll use the flowers. You'll see that I've used them already and a couple samples that I'm going to share. But I bought them for these and for this. I love scallop borders, so that creates a wider scallop border. I know we have a few smaller ones, but this is a nice wider one. But look at each one of these scallops. Each one has a different pattern to it. So this one in each scallop, we've got like part of the scallop is cut out. This one, we've got dots all the way around. This one is dashed. This one has like long strips cut out. And then this one just has little holes poked into each scallop. So each one of these scallops, scallop rectangles is slightly different. And I love that. And then this scallop border image has the, um, the stitching lines around it as well. So this I think is, this, the, this I think sh should be a die set that everybody has in their collection just because of the versatility of it. Okay, so let me share a couple samples here. All right, so here is an example of two of the different sizes and can you see the difference? I'm going blurry on my screen. I'm hoping that it's not blurry for you guys. You can see that there's stitching here and then there's dots in this one. You see how pretty that is? And look at those little bee trinkets. Oh my gosh, love, love, love. And then, so this one doesn't use the, the color contour stamp set, but it does use the dies. This one uses the color contour stamp set. And then here's another sample, which I'll share a little bit later, more of a little bit later, and that uses the color contour dies and then also the stamp set. Okay. Um, Mary Liz is asking, would the large one fit in the mini? No, I think it's too wide. Um, the second largest would probably squeak by, but I think the largest one is just a bit too large. It's not, I don't, I'm almost positive it's not gonna fit through. Okay. All right, next up, what do we have? Let's see. So you can see that I have a lot of stuff to share. Okay. Page 122, 123, this is where you'll fall, find most, most of the things up with for individual colors. So you'll find in the Brights collection, you can find cardstock, ink pads, ink refills, and then Stampin' Blends. So the bottom line is all the Stampin' Blends. Okay, so I wanna point out that out. You'll see that the new in colors are down here. Let's take a look at those new in colors. I know I've shared them in the past, but here is the Fresh Freesia, and we've got Polished Pink, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, and Evening Evergreen. And can you guys see that sparkle in the background? There is some shimmery vellum that comes in all five of the in colors. You can kind of see it on camera, but it looks so pretty in person. So I'll point that out when we get to that page. Okay, so those are all the new in colors and then these are the returning in colors. And next, next page, where are we going here? Okay, and then on this page is where you will find anything that comes in an assorted package. So if you want an eight and a half by 11 assorted cardstock, in, you'd find that here and then 12 by 12 cardstock um, classic bundles so if you want a collection of the 10 colors all at once or the five in colors you'll find that here ink refills you'll get 10 bottles of the ink refills here and stamp and write markers here okay and then you can also find the entire collection of many marvelous markers and you can find the watercolor pencils and then we have some new soft pastels as well. I have not ordered those yet, but I am looking forward to ordering those and playing with them and you can better believe that there will be a class coming up with that. The other thing I should point out is anything with this little N icon, that just means that it's a new product, okay? All right, over here we've got, if you are a scrapbooker and use pocket pages, this is a great option. Um, we've got two new memories and more cards. You can you can look forward to two classes coming up. I'm going to do a mini album with the 6x8 album with this collection, and I'm going to do cards with this one. And I'll probably throw in a few scrapbook pages as well. 
these cards and envelopes are absolutely stunning. I did not pull them out, but I do have them. The colors on them are amazing. And these two pieces right here coordinate with the hand penned suite, which I think is on a page 104 ish. Yeah. So they coordinate with this. So if you purchased this suite, you could add on these and you'd have a really, really well rounded collection of products. Okay, let's move on here. Okay, so here we've got the rest of our DSP. I shared lots of DSP with you guys. There's still a few more that I'm waiting for it to come in. Now this page, this is some of our specialty products. So this is where you'll find that shimmery vellum. I have the full sheets here. Let me pull this out for you guys. Okay, so you can see it comes 12 by 12. You get two of each sheet in all five of the in colors. So it's just the front that's sparkly, the back is kind of muted. So I guess if you didn't want to use the sparkly side, you could use the back, um, but it's much prettier on the sparkly side. All right, so that's where you can find that, is that's number six on page 135. And then there is also number four. I don't have this because I overlooked this, um, but one of my downline shared it yesterday with me it's ombre specialty paper and it is ombre glimmer paper so it doesn't say that it's glimmer paper there but it is glimmer paper and it's ombre and it comes in four different colors so you get gorgeous grape mango melody night of navy and poppy parade all in one package so i wanted to point that out okay next up now of course we've got um, a bunch of ribbon and some embellishments. So I shared these expressions in ink with you. Um, you saw a sample that had the little bumblebee trinkets, which aren't available to order right now. They sold out really, really quickly, um, but we will be getting some more in. I believe the ETA on those is um, the end of the month. And then there are these beautiful little um, flower flourishes. So you saw those, I kind of incorporate the incorporated them on this card here. Look how tiny that little pink one is. It's so cute. And those have three of the five in colors in them. And they're just like little, they're just little plastic flowers. It's so cute though. All right, next up. Okay, next we've got our punches and our punch bundles. So I wanted to point out if the punches are available in a bundle, it will say they're on the first few pages and it shows you the bundle, tells you where to find the stamp set and tells you that it's available at a 10% savings. So you wanna look for those. And then we have the rest of our punches. Now, just because they don't have the coordinating stamp sets listed doesn't mean they don't have coordinating stamps that go with them. So most of our, all of our builder punches, they all have stamps, stamp sets that coordinate with them. So they don't have them indicated here, but you, that's just something that you'll want to kind of make note of. All right, and then we've got our new embossing folder. Actually, I'm gonna go embossing folders. I'm gonna go back one page because if you do not have the new stamp and cut and emboss machine and you're still using our old Big Shot, that's completely fine. All of our products can be used in the old Big Shot. But I do wanna point out that if you purchase any of our 3D embossing folders, and you did not pick up that blue plate that we carried um, the year that we didn't have a die cutting machine. So there was a blue clear plate that was available. Um, if you did not purchase that, if you're purchasing any of our 3D embossing folders, you're going to need this number seven on page 153, this specialty plate, okay? Because our, the manufacturer who makes our 3D embossing folders now they make them a little bit thinner. They're not quite as thick. So you need a thicker plate. It's not gonna work with just your clear plates. So you need this thicker plate. So if you have the Big Shot, any of our newer 3D embossing folders, and you do not have the blue clear plate, then this is the plate that you'll need, okay? All right, so we've got lots of new embossing folders, including several new embossing folders for the mini machine. All right, so you wanna check those out. I shared the bark one with you earlier on in this video. It's, love it. 
Okay, and now we're talking about die bundles. Okay, so just like the punches at the beginning of this section, um, you'll find anything that is available as a bundle, which means that you'll save 10%. Okay, so here you've got your 10% bundled savings, you've got the bundled product number and what's included. And the other thing is, if we go to page 59, which is where this stamp set is, you're gonna see a few samples with this stamp set, but to back here, you've got a bonus project idea. So it's not a repeat of the projects from earlier on in the catalog. This, this is a new project idea, okay? So that's something to make note of. There's more inspiration that it just conti keeps continuing on. All right, lots and lots and lots of bundles. Okay, so now we've got the dies. So there are several that I'm gonna point out that remember earlier on in this video, I said that there are several dies that are not paired with a stamp set. Okay, so I'm gonna share those with you. You'll want to read the description because if they do have um, a stamp set that coordinates with them, it says coordinates with the dress to impress stamp set and then the page. Okay, but here, for example, this basic borders, it doesn't say that, but it does say, see these dies in use on page 59. So there is, it just, it's just telling you that there is a sample of those dies on page 59. And here it is here using these dies, using those dies right there. Okay, so that is one of them. Let me pull this out so I can show you these because I love these, especially the cloud. Let me pull these out. You can see that I've used them lots. They're not really sticking anymore. So we've got something that's angled, which I've used several times. We've got a curved one. We've got a scalloped border one. We've got the cloud. We've got a, like a rickrack or a zigzag. And we've got um, this pattern. I don't even know what to call that pattern. Oh, you're welcome, Sue. So this is something, I think this is gonna go a long way. I love products that you can pick up for relatively inexpensively and that just add to, they just complement products that you already have on hand. So it just, it's just, it's just another way to, um, to stretch the supplies that you already have. So this is one of those products, as is, well, actually all of these ones that I point out. So we'll get, we'll keep going and then I'll show you the other one that I love. Okay, so we've got the basic borders. We've got the flower market. So this one says on page 63 that there's a sample. So that is this background. That's a great example of that so pretty and I would have just overlooked that um, this layering diorama I love the sample for this one so page 12 it's so fun page 12 in the upper left like look how fun that shape is and they kind of layered it staggered it and so it's got so much depth it's just I love it I love it and you know what if I if I wasn't reading that, like when I look at those shapes, I'm like, nah, nah, you know, they're okay, but what am I gonna use them for? And then I see this, I'm like, okay, I need those added to my collection. <laughs> um, the other one is the Give It a Whirl. So that's the one with the spinner thing that I had mentioned. Um, what other one? Uh, the layering circles, but most of us already have those. Okay, next page. The picture this, so on page 67, this is a fun one. It's on my wish list. I have not picked it up yet, but it cuts out these fun little backgrounds. So it's all in one die. Well, this particular one is all in one die and it'll cut out all these little windows so you can have things peeking out from behind, whether it's cute little animals here or patterned paper. Um, so there's that and then you can use the dies that it does cut out, the circles that it does cut out, and then there's a rectangular one as well. Okay, so that's another one. This stitched greenery, again, I overlooked it until a downline pointed it out to me yesterday. And that is on page 83, right at the top here. If you look, it, it's almost like it's poking holes. 
like a stitched it's stitched leaves pattern you have to check that out because I know on camera it's not showing up very well but you definitely check that out page 83 so pretty and it would create a, an amazing background here's the background that they've used here all right and then the last one that I wanted to point out is the tailored made tag dies so yeah yeah the tailored made tag dies here's another one that doesn't have a stamp set that coordinates that was in the um, mini catalog or the January to June mini catalog um, but these tag dies let me share this is another one I love using tags both on cards and in scrapbooking you get four different sizes of two different designs and then you get the reinforcements in two different shapes as well so these are traditional reinforcements and then these ones have a straight edge so this is another one that I think you'll see me use often and again it's a great complement to add to your collection then on the next page we have all of our adhesives and then on this page it talks a little bit more about becoming a demonstrator and you guys know that right now is a great time to become a demonstrator not only because there's a brand new catalog that you can choose fabulous brand new product from but we also have a join plus promotion which means that you get additional product in your starter kit for no extra cost so it's 135 dollars no shipping no gst and you get to choose $206 worth of product. And that can be anything out of this catalog, apart from the host sets, or anything out of the, the January to June mini catalog, or a combination of both. All right, so that's something that you might wanna consider. That promotion is only good until the end of May. So you'll wanna jump on that if that's something you're considering. And then we've got our Stampin' Rewards. Now, oftentimes people get to this page and they think that the catalog is done, but, the Stampin' Rewards, that is when you place a qualifying order or if you host a workshop or host an online party or a catalog party, if your order is over $200, you qualify for Stampin' Rewards, which means that Stampin' Up! will give you free product. Um, so these are the products that you can choose from. You can choose from these products or you can choose product from the annual catalog, but these products can only be gotten using your Stampin' Rewards. And I want to point out this DSP because it is incredible. I got it with my order. First of all, it's 48 sheets. Let me just share the patterns in here. Okay, so we've got some bumblebee floral pattern. We've got some polka dots. We've got stripes, love this one. We've got this one, which is so pretty. You'll see this actually quite a bit throughout the catalog. We've got a navy. We've got this one, which is kind of semi-circles. We've got a granny apple green kind of floral pattern. Oh, I've got it upside down. We've got some hearts, love this one as well. I just love the colors and I love that these are kind of generic patterns that you can use for so many different product projects. We've got this one, another favorite. I love the multicolored ones. Got that one and then diagonal stripes. I love diagonal stripes. And then on the back, if you think that that's not versatile enough, hello, on the back, we've got all black and white patterns, which you know what that means is if you don't have the color that you need, you can easily make this the color that you need, right? So that increases the versatility of this paper pack. So that is something, if you place a qualifying order, that's something you might wanna look at adding. Um, so it is, if you qualify for, um, let's say $375, you get 12% back. Plus right now until the 14th of June, you get an extra $30 if your order is over $300. You get an extra $30 in Stampin' Rewards, um, which means that you have, you get qualified for more free product. Um, so this is something that you could choose for that. So this is $24, it's a $40 value and you get it for $24, but you have to use your Stampin' Rewards. You cannot purchase this, okay? So that's the kicker. All right, so I shared a ton of information about this catalog. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer those questions. And if you have anything that you see in the catalog that you would like me to use on a future Facebook Live or in a future video or blog post, just shoot me a message. I'm always looking for ideas on what you guys want to see. So I'm, I'm happy to get that feedback from you guys. I wanna, I wanna give you what you want. I want to 
Um, if you want to learn how to use something, let me know and I will definitely try to incorporate that in one of my future videos. All right. So thanks so much for listening to me talk for the last half hour. Hopefully I pointed out something that maybe you want to add to your wish list. And remember that um, I'm always, I'm always grateful for any orders that you place with me. I will send you a little thank you card and a little gift. And um, you can always find my link at the beginning or in the description of the video. All right. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a creative day.